Hello, my name is Claire, and lately I've been feeling a little conflicted. There are a few points that I'd like to hit, but this is mostly just a stream of consciousness video. Yeah. Mostly, I'm really conflicted about this gun control situation. Okay, so let me try to explain myself. A couple days ago, I was sitting here and I was wondering about like the situation that happened in Florida. I was watching videos by um, Trevor Noah, Stephen Colbert, and uh, The Ellen Show. Um, I don't know, I've been watching- uh, I've, I've been watching a few videos to try to educate myself on the topic. I can't help myself but feel terrible about the situation. When I was watching the videos, I was sitting in bed and I'm like, these kids are doing so much, which is, which is amazing, but like, my lazy ass is sitting here and doing nothing. Isn't that like the worst thing to do is like nothing? It's like, I want to do something, but I've heard like, call your congressman or something like that. And I don't know, talking isn't really my strong suit, but you know, here I am. Um, and then I think on the Ellen show, um, something was mentioned how like, the gun control isn't, like, taking away guns, it's just having more steps to, like, obtaining one. But I don't want to get too political or anything like that. It's just really concerning. Also, in, like, my history class, we were talking about, like, Congress, and I'm like, I really don't know a whole lot about Congress, so I guess I'll have to educate myself more on that topic. And another kind of weird point that, to me, is, like, People still create, people still upload, people still do their jobs, people still, you know, go on about their lives. Like, it is a thing, but it's still, I don't know, it like, hasn't affected them directly. I don't know, it's just weird to me because it's like, this is going on, but the world's still going. And will there ever be change? Wait, what is my hair doing? I'm, I don't know. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, another thing I'm kind of conflicted about is wanting to be with people, but then when you're with people, you don't want to be with people. <laughs> that happened to me like earlier, so technically when I'm filming this video, oh well, <sighs> technically as I'm filming this video, it would have been yesterday. So yesterday I had a thing in the morning, but then I didn't do anything in the rest of the day and I was all by myself in the apartment and I I, I took a nap, but like, naps are great. Um, but I hit, I don't know, I just felt really lonely and then it was like 9, 10 p.m. and a friend texted me and they were like, hey, do you want to come to a party? And I was like asking some details about it and then I said no. And then afterwards I was like, I wanted to be with people. But when I was invited to be with people, I said no. But then, I don't know, it was a party, and I kind of want, like, you know, human connection. You know, you crave that connection with people, and I don't know. <sighs> How deep are we going to go here? We're going to go a little deep. Um, so yes, my previous video, um, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I am currently in college. I am studying film, and I don't know, I just... I feel like I could be doing so many things right now. Something that interests me or like environmental things or like architecture kind of. I saw this BuzzFeed video about uh, like I love their home buddy series. I watched the Arcosanti one and that's like a place in Arizona that <clears throat> does a lot about like architecture and environmental things. What do they call it? Arcology? I don't know. It's I find it very interesting. But then it's like, with film, I feel like I could influence a lot of people. I don't know. It's just so... I don't, I don't know. What is this life? Okay. There also comes the practicalities of what I'm trying to do, because you need a job. And like, in this world, you need a job so you can make money. And I'm questioning like how I'm going to support myself. And money worries me a lot. Apparently there's a lot of jobs in like the film industry and media related things, so... We'll see. I feel old, but I also feel young, but I'm mostly just, uh, existing? I don't know. Yeah, Claire is doing great. <laughs> A quick conflict within myself. Um, okay, so first thing, 
call I watched a video by Colleen Ballinger. Um, she said so I think it was in like a what's it what does she call it? I don't know, it was like a QA and she was talking about how she thinks that no one person can be a hundred percent straight or a hundred percent gay so she said like a per it sounds weird because like you put a percentage so i would say i'm like 70 percent straight and 30 percent gay but like that's weird that's not weird it's fine i don't know um this next point um <clears throat> we'll dive into it um so to be honest this semester so far has been kind of difficult with a lot of situations. So yeah, I kind of hit a low point, which is like weird thinking on it now because I feel like it's over, but like basically I'm trying to say that I don't know if it's like I'm actually depressed or if it's like, or not. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, but then I watch a lot of videos saying like, there's no such thing as like, you're not depressed enough or like something like that. You're not like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like sad enough or you're like blah, blah blah whatever i guess what they're trying to say is that you don't have to be sad enough to get help and that's fine and then there is like the kind of debate on what you keep private in your life versus what you put public on youtube but i think it's becoming less of a stigma because a lot of people are talking about it on the internet but the also the, but the also but also <laughs> i think it's kind of weird because i feel that some there are some YouTubers who are like mental health specialists like Katie Morton, I watch her videos sometimes and but it's like there's now sort of a business going on with mental health and like I don't know but I do think it's interesting how people talk about it. I hear a lot about it on this podcast slash video on Boldly which is a BuzzFeed channel and it's called Adult Sh um, hosted by Kate and Kelsey. They're super cool. I highly suggest it. They talk about like a lot of their personal things, but I don't know. They're so open about it and I love it. It's weird being kind of vulnerable. Like I know that it's saying that it's not a weakness, it's a strength. And I'm coming to learn that and I'm also learning like getting, getting a glimpse on the other side of what this confidence is of like who I am, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I've kind of been in a low lately that's kind of why my content is probably not as good as i want it to sometimes i feel like that you like kind of want to be depressed or like want to be something but it's like once you're diagnosed or something then what do you do next it's like it's not all of you it's a part of you but then it's like what do you do after that what do you do after something happens like something ends but it doesn't really end Life just keeps going. There's a lot going on, so I don't know. There's like always, when I say that, there is like, there is kind of a lot going on, but like I said, technically yesterday I didn't do anything after that one thing I had in the morning. It was like a meeting, so I just took a nap and then I just watched Netflix. I started watching Queer Eye, which was really good. I suggest it. I wonder how some people do like double majors or like major minor there's like what so I've heard apparently some people do like triple majors which is sounds crazy and then there's like those kids who are fighting for like those gun control thing and they're in high school and I that's amazing what they're doing and I here I am <laughs> complaining ranting to a camera in my room past midnight it's fine one thing that has been helping me this month is drawing, even though I'm a terrible like illustrator, artist in like that sense, fine arts, but um, I find it pretty helpful. I have my wall, but I won't put that on the internet, at least not yet. <laughs> I mean, give it a like if you want to see my drawings that I've made through my low period. Wow, that sounds really weird. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> Um, I think I should end the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.